Ah, shit, got a fucking flat, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, good thing I brought a spare. People identify as a lot of things these days. I don't want to get too political, but imagine you're a conventional deadlifter and you have a son who identifies as a sumo lifter. You're just gonna take him out to the barn and shoot him? You're gonna drop him off at an influencer ranch? Or well, imagine marrying the man of your dreams only to find out he secretly trap bar deadlifts. This country is divided, and what's really pulling us apart is how you pull. So forget your pronouns, I wanna know how you deadlift. So let's find out what your deadlift says about you. <laughs> See that? Yeah. <laughs> Conventional deadlifts. Ah, oh, you're the boomer of fitness. Doing things the hard way just to say you did it the hard way. <laughs> You think working a manual labor job you hate is a sign of being a man. You talk about the good old days from before you were even born and all of a sudden care too much about women's sports. I like my deadlifts like I like my marriages. Conventional, dead from the start, and likely to fail. You yell at your lifts and your girlfriend for touching the bar when spotting you. You listen to Metallica even though you secretly hate them and you hate on TikTok even though you secretly wish you had the confidence to use it. You think women should dress more conservatively in the gym because you're mad that you can't pull anything above five. And that goes for plates and mates. And after a hard day of breaking your back for no reason, you have to go home to your high school sweetheart who's a human version of a casserole. They got some nice curl racks in this gym. Super set. Oh, man. Those are clean. You blame your stagnant life and lifts on everyone cheating. You've been deadlifting since you got caught from XFL tryouts, and now some 19 year old is repping your max with no warm up. Are you mad because he's pulling sumo, or are you mad because he's pulling your max and TikTok bitches, and you're pulling night shifts and your back out? <laughs> oh, pulling sumo. Sumo is catching a lot of heat these days, especially with C Bum calling it cheating. <laughs> Which is a huge blow to all the sumo bros who base their entire personality and sexual orientation off of C-Bum. <sighs> all that time trying to be like C-Bum only to realize you're just A-Bum. <laughs> Pulling sumo is like bragging about that NFT you bought that ended up being worth less than your self-worth. <sighs> the only thing that's being pulled here is the rug. It's no coincidence the TikTok generation loves sumo deadlifts because sumo is the TikTok of deadlifts. Pulling sumo it's like having an IG with 3K followers and a bio that says 700K on TikTok. If you have to explain it, it doesn't count. Honestly, Gen Z is out of control with all this inclusive bullshit. I mean, what's next? You're gonna tell me that sumo lifters should compete with conventional lifters? I mean, listen, God made two types of deadlifts, okay? It's, it's not natural. Honestly, I'm surprised TikTok hasn't canceled sumo for racist cultural appropriation and Asian fat shaming. The only shame here is on you, TikTok. All right, I'm gonna lift this, no warm up. <sighs> it's every generation's duty to make it easier for the next generation and then complain about them having it too easy. <sighs> 2016 fitness influencers ran so you fit talk fuckboys could fly. These brave souls sacrificed themselves by pulling sumo and being fake natty until they realized fitness content has a shelf life of meal prep tilapia and got washed away by the algorithm. IG fitfluencers paved the way and fit talkers just took the shortcut. Your ridiculously wide stance gives you an unfair advantage. That right there, that's called wide privilege. Yeah. Ah, you know I was gonna lift it, but instead I'm checking my privilege. While conventional lifters are concerned about doing the job, sumo lifters are just concerned with getting the job done. Don't work smarter or harder, just work less. And yeah, maybe you cheated a little, but the thing about cheating is nobody accuses you of cheating if you're losing. All's fair in lifting bar. And now a word from our sponsor, Ray, question. What game has over 600 champions, global PVP, massive PVE, and is crazier than PCP? That's right, you guessed it, Raid Shadow Legends. Available on mobile and PC. My favorite part of Raid is going through the faction's best champions and building my team. It's like fight Tinder. Here are two of my favorite champions. Kalia. This juicy workhorse is an attack champion who is great at burning things. I like her because she's got a sick hammer and reminds me of my ex who one time got hammered and burned all my things. I also like the royal guard because he has one job. 
wreck bosses. I also had one job, and I wrecked my boss for stealing my Lunchables. But what I like about the game is leveling up my champions at the tavern. It allows you to not only upgrade your champions level and rank, but their skills too. This month is Raid's three year anniversary, and Raid has its first ever champion skins. I'm digging this sexy goth skin for obvious reasons. Use my link or scan the QR code right here, and new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $40. These rewards will be available in your inbox box for the next 30 days only. All right, lastly, shouldn't even be mentioning this one, but we're, you know, all about the uh, quality here. anyway. Um, trap bar deadlifts. Trap bar is for people who don't know what they're doing or trying too hard to look like they know what they're doing. Like some athlete who comes in and does five explosive reps of 185 and then supersets with jumping in place. <laughs> Like, listen, if you were a real athlete, you wouldn't be working out at Crunch Fitness in a softball t-shirt. It's called Trap Bar, because if you're doing it, you were trapped into a 64 session personal training package. Trap Bar is easy to do and even easier to teach, which is why it's a favorite of personal trainers who need personal trainers. Trap Bar is deadlift training wheels. This, this, this thing's like an adult baby walker. All you gotta do is grab the bar and stand up. Which is ironic, because you can't even stand up to your wife who wants a threesome with her work husband. Trap bar is safer for your back, because you don't have to worry about fucking up your spine when you got none. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every week. We still buying this? This sick swag at domlitz.com. The Brodello tank. The Mass Bro Shops hats. OBGYM. Keep it tight, baby. Wear this to your local gym. Your local curves gym. You can wear that there. But pull up, not out, and let them know. It's kind of like it's like a, it's a narrative. Wash it down. A little bit of Trinity on gear, baby. Get ready for some plowing. A professional non-athlete right here. Lifters. Gains. Donmerch.com.